short clip demonstrates the comfortable handling of a bolded assembly. There are many reasons for using bolts, such as maintainability or ease of repair. In terms of a finite element analysis, bolts can be represented by various modeling techniques depending on the focus of the analysis. The following clip focuses on geometrically modeled bolts without a detailed thread. Therefore, a domain of a tractor rear axle is used as the subject for the FE analysis. The flange of the planetary gear carrier is bolted to the differential carrier. After importing the geometry, one can define contact groups, in this case a group for the planetary gear carrier and the bolts on the one hand, the bolts and the differential case on the other hand. With a carefully chosen value for the automatic contact detection, all needed bolt contacts are identified automatically. The contacts at the bolt head shall be considered as a frictional contact, whereas the shaft is bonded to the differential carrier. The flange faces are again concatenated with a frictional contact. Let's take a brief look at the meshing. Some useful options lead to an efficient meshing, for example with respect to the hexahedral meshing at the bolts, using multi-zone meshing. Also, a well-chosen defeaturing tolerance helps to focus on the domains of interest. Generally, an analysis considering pretensioned bolts consists of at least two load steps. The first one is needed to apply the pretension. In subsequent load steps, the pretension state is locked, so that following load steps contain real loading conditions. In this case, we want to pretension the bolts in the first load step with a pretension load of 25 kilonewton. In the second load step, the pretension load is locked. ANSYS Workbench offers, with the help of the object generator, a comfortable method to replicate the pretension load object. Then, remaining boundary conditions have to be defined. This is on the one hand the fixed support for the differential carrier and, on the other hand, a remote force representing equivalent tractor wheel forces.
After solving, one can take a look at the results. Typically, deformation and stress results are reviewed. In this analysis, however, we put emphasis on the loading condition of the bolts. Therefore, we insert the bolt tool into the solution tree and review the working load. It turns out that the minimum working load has a value of 23 kilonewton, whereas the maximum load is below 28 kilonewton. This means that the bolts withstand the applied load, since the maximum appearing working load does not exceed the permissible bolt load of 29.5 kilonewton. Furthermore, the detailed information of all bolts can be achieved by dragging and dropping pretension bolt objects into the solution branch. A result summary can be opened with the right mouse button. It provides a listed overview of all inserted solution objects. Results may be sorted and related solution objects may be highlighted in the solution branch. With the help of the contact tool, the pressure at the flange faces after load step 1 and 2 can be easily analyzed. Areas where the contact pressure is nearly zero correspond with the most highly stressed bolts. To summarize, ANSYS Workbench offers convenient tools in order to efficiently deal with a high number of bolts in an assembly. Comfortable methods for checking the bolt contacts and regarding the bolt loads allow the user a rapid understanding of his design. Now it's up to you to analyze pretensioned bolts in your assembly.